Hello everyone and welcome to the Crypt News channel. We are continuing this series of videos about trading and today we'll consider one of the methods of technical analysis, the candlestick analysis, in order to better understand our chart and make profitable orders. Candlestick analysis is a method of analysis of Japanese candlesticks. But what are Japanese candlesticks? One candlestick reflects the change in the price of an asset over a certain period of time on the chart, like one minute, one hour, or six hours, one day, and so on. Japanese candlesticks are very popular due to the simplicity of the presentation of information and ease of reading. A candlestick chart consists of a black and white or green and red body and an upper and lower shadows, sometimes they are called wicks. The upper and lower border of the shadow displays the maximum and minimum prices for the corresponding period. The boundaries of the body display the opening and closing price. Candlestick patterns are divided into the following types. There are reversal patterns such as doji, hammer, hang, take over, harami, three black crowds and others. These are the patterns that are most often found on cryptocurrencies. There are also trend continuation patterns. 3. Candlestick method, retention on the tatami, etc. First, we are going to talk about the reversal patterns. For example, doji pattern clearly shows that the bulls and the bears are in balance, a state of indecision and can be useful in finding the tops and bottoms of the trading channel. Such signal is generated when the opening and closing of the Japanese candlestick occurs at the same level or is very close to the same level on a certain time frame. However, in order to make a decision on the deal, you need to wait for the close of this candlestick. The older the time frame, the more reliable the signal will be, and preferably to wait until at least one next candlestick is closed below. The second pattern is hammer slash hanged. This pattern logically continues the previous one. A hammer is a single candlestick with a small body located at the bottom of the range and a long lower shadow. The long tail of the shadow tells us that the asset has become interesting and that there are some players who began to buy it. The third type of pattern is bullish engulfing or bearish engulfing pattern. Another type of reversal candlestick pattern, it consists of two candlesticks of different colors. The body of the second engulfs the body of the first. It works only after a clear trend, the signal becomes stronger if the body of the first candlestick is small, while the body of the second is very large. Now, let's consider the trend continuation models or patterns as opposed to reversal patterns. Such patterns are not always obvious because most players still prefer to look for the reversal patterns and points where to buy at a better price. However, the most popular among continuation patterns are those. The first one is three candlestick pattern. This figure consists of five candlesticks where the first and the fifth one or the last one are in trend and the bodies of the three middle ones do not go beyond the side ones. What it shows us is that after trading the price, the price rolls back, but the last candlestick of this model draws a new high-low. Another one is retention on the tatami. The pattern resembles a zigzag and is a bullish signal where you can see that there is a reversal but a large candlestick indicates the retention and continuation of the trend. Of course, there are many many other candlestick patterns but not all of them show good results and some of them are quite rare. Now, let's find those candlestick patterns on the Bitcoin chart. So, now we are going to the uh, website of our uh, broker which is crypto rocket and we're going to the web platform and now let's open the candlestick chart and try to find the patterns that we have already talked about in this video so here on this chart we can see doji pattern here we can see hammer and here we can see bullish engulfing so here we have shown you the examples of the reversal patterns. Now let's look for the trend continuation patterns. In here we can see the three candlestick pattern. And in here we can see this pattern that is called retention on the tatami. So as you can see, 
each of these patterns is quite easy to find if you set the proper time frame. That's all for today and we'll see you in the next videos. Bye!